Oscar the robot welcomes visitors to the Le Web conference in Paris. Uh, what do you think about this event? I think it's fantastic. I've met lots of people. Le Web is one of the major events in the web industry's calendar, attracting around 3,500 professionals, investors, bloggers and internet fans. The theme this year was the Internet of Things, or how objects interconnect and communicate. One of the most popular ideas at the conference was Nest, a thermostat which learns your habits. It can be remotely controlled via a smartphone and will remember the settings you put on it so that it automatically heats the house to your preferred temperature. The sensors also know if you're in or out of your house. This is here on the device itself, which is simply a ring. When it comes out of the box, it's, it's kind of like an infant and you teach it. You teach it, I, at, at, at 8 in the morning, I put it at this temperature, at 10 when I go to work, I turn it down to this temperature. On the weekends, I like it this. And over a, sp a, sp a period of three to four days, you have trained the infant to be more like a toddler or a teenager, and now it starts to do those things. This Wi-Fi plant sensor monitors the health of your plants, both indoors and out. The data is sent to a cloud, and the user can access it from anywhere, via a smartphone or a computer. The device can help people learn to grow plants, but more importantly, it can help people who are away from home to know if their plants are thriving or not. We measure the soil moisture with the sensor, we measure the air temperature uh, and the light intensity, and we give you advice whether the location is good for your plant or not, when you need to give water, uh, which kind of fertilized to use, basically everything that you need to do in order to make your plant growing and happy. How often have you seen something in a catalogue but been unable to imagine what it would look like in your home? Well, this augmented reality application can help. You can virtually detach the object and turn it into 3D in your house or in your office. You can also test paintings on your walls and architects can see in advance how a building will relate to its environment once it's finished. And what about a device which lets your neighbour in to feed the cat? A smartphone can use a technology called Lockitron, which is a keyless lock that you can install on your door, replacing the traditional lock. It means you can remotely enable a friend to enter your house via smartphone without having to physically give her the keys. There's also a detector which can warn you via text if an unauthorized person tries to open the door. Nokia was at the conference to launch the latest Lumia based on the Windows Phone 8 system, competing with the Android operating system. It costs around 200 euros and has a series of dual colored shells which are exchangeable and available in seven different colors. Also, the camera has been improved so that it automatically takes multiple photographs with a single click. Could this be the end of photos of people taken just as they blinked?